Hello friends going to discuss trigonometrical formula in very interesting way you see sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b you just see in the formula of sin one sin is there one cos is there very easy to remember in all the formula of sin involving sin you will see one sin and one cos in case of sin a minus b you see sin a cos b minus cos a sin b very easily you can remember this formula cos a plus b cos is playing a different role you see either both the cosses are together or both the sines are together everywhere wherever you will see the formula of cos both cos will be together and both sine will be together so cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b just be careful about this when cos a plus b is there then minus is there cos a minus b same way you can say cos a cos b plus sin a into sin b formula of tan is very easy to remember tan a plus b is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a into tan b very simple same way you can say the formula of tan a minus b as tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a into tan b now we will go for c and d formula you just see that sin a plus c is very much different from sin c plus sin d see two sines are there two cosses will be there so it is very much different from a plus b formula now as i mentioned that in the formula of sin one sin is there and one cos is there so sin c plus sin d is two sin c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 same way you can say sin c minus sin d simple formula for sin as it follows one sin and one cos 2 sin c minus d by 2 into cos c plus d by 2 now cos c plus cos d as i have already said that either both the cosses will be together or both the sines will be together in the formula for cos so cos c plus cos d is going to give you 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 cos c minus cos d you see it is both the signs are here 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin d minus c by 2 okay now we will just see a uh, transformation formula how uh, one sin and one cos is in the product form how it can be represented as sum or difference formula so 2 sin a into cos b is sin a plus b plus sin a minus b 2 cos a into cos b as i said two cosses are there so it will involve the formula of cos only cos a minus b plus cos a plus b 2 sin a into sin b both the signs are there so again the formula of cos so cos a minus b minus cos a plus b all the time you have to keep all this formula in brain these are very important formula now multiple formula sin 2a you know it can be written as 2 sin a into cos a you can easily derive this formula by writing sin 2a as sin a plus a so sin 2a all the time you do remember 2 sin a into cos a further it can be written as 2 tan a by 1 plus tan square a so the application of this formula is there once we have to find sin a i can write this as 2 sin a by 2 into cos a by 2 i have to find sin 4a i can write this as 2 sin 2a into cos 2a you just follow the pattern what pattern the formula is following if you identify this formula will become very easy and application will be that much easy as well now you see the big boss the bahubali formula cos 2a is cos square a minus sin square a which can further be written as 2 cos square a minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin square a or 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a why i am telling you this is bahubali formula you see this is a relation between two a angle and single angle only involving two variables see cos 2a is 2 cos square a minus 1 that is 2a is there with cos 2a and cos a is there so very perfect relation between single and double angle wherever you have to deal with single and double angle 
and just one information is given you just go for cos 2a this is the best formula in the trigonometry you just see application of that 1 plus cos a can be written as 2 cos square a by 2 this is very very important I'm telling you so many times just remember this just mark it up 1 plus cos a 2 cos square a by 2 same way equally important 1 minus cos a is 2 sin square a by 2 very very important sub multiple formula if you remember these your life will be very very easy now you just see very important and uh, some special formula uh, which if we just remember our uh, life will be easy see sin a plus b into sin a minus b is sin square a minus sin square b you will encounter many uh, such type of problems where sign something plus something and sign something minus something is given you can directly write sine square a minus sine square b instead of just expanding the LHS thing and getting the result okay just remember sine a plus b into sine a minus b is sine square a minus sine square b but cos is little bit different from sine so cos a plus b into cos a minus b is not cos square a minus cos square b it is cos square a minus sin square b all the time you remember don't make mistake now very important formula if we just remember this the thing will become easier for us sin a into sin 60 minus a into sin 60 plus a is equal to 1 by 4 sin 3a you will see the problem suppose sine uh, 20 is given into sine 40 is given into sine 80 is given what can you write sine 20 sine 40 can be written as sine uh, 60 minus 20 sine 80 can be written as sine 60 plus 20 so you can directly apply the formula 1 by 4 sine 3 at 3 into 20 degree so it will be 1 by 4 sine 60 degree you just see if it is following a pattern in a particular problem you apply the formula same way you can say cos a cos 60 minus a into cos 60 plus a is 1 by 4 cos 3 you can derive this formula once you expand the LHS thing you will get whatever there in the RHS things very easily tan a into tan 60 minus a into tan 60 plus a is just tan 3a now very important formula if you remember things will be easier for you that is cot a minus tan a is 2 cot 2a suppose i have to find cot 2a minus tan 2a what can you write 2 cot 4a you just follow the pattern in the formula and you can apply it wherever needed now very important formula which is going to help you in your multiple for uh, sub multiple and multiple formula where product is there cos a into cos 2a into cos 4a into cos 8a like that just cos double formula is there to n terms the formula is sine 2 to the power n into a by 2 to the power n into sine a you must remember this in certain problem you just find uh, sine a into sine 2a into sine 4a like that don't just fall prey to that formula and apply the formula which is meant for cos only not for sine so wherever sine product is given i just recommend firstly you convert that thing in the terms of cos and then see whether they are in double format or not if in double format you can directly apply the formula if not in double format what you have to do you have to go for transformation formula that is cos a into cos b sin a into sin b or sin a into cos b like that okay 